Well, it looks like I have some time before I need to consume the soul of my next victim. I think... Ugh, I think I'll just take a quick nap. <laughs> now what? Who dares disturb the sleep of the great Timothy the Ghost Engine? Father Ed, what brings you to the Shadow Realm? Oh, not much. I was in the area and I just figured I'd stop by and have a chat with my old friend, Timothy. Also, I was just on my way to destroy another universe. You know, the one that a certain blue tank engine resides on. You are a sad, strange engine. You have my pity. Now leave before I destroy you. Leave? I just got here. And I was just beginning to warm up to this place. And besides, this home is more for the likes of me rather than you. So as far as I'm concerned, it is you who must leave. I may be evil, Father Ed, but I'm not sadistic like you. I don't agree with your morals, and I think you need help right away. Don't try to play the innocent one with me. You've done a lot in your time. You kill all those passengers, and you traumatize the poor edges of the island of Sodor. All those innocent people, and those innocent lives that you've taken and tortured. Well, apart from Thomas, he deserves what he got for destroying my world's Thomas. You think running passengers off a viaduct is bad? You literally killed an entire engine through an explosion! And you destroyed your entire universe! I saw what it looked like after you destroyed it. It's in shambles! What kind of engine goes ahead and destroys an entire universe? That universe was inferior to my vision. That's why I had to destroy it. And besides, that bat controller got what he deserves for putting me through all that pain and suffering and misery, as well as his wounds, Gordon and James, for putting me through the hell that is my feebleness. And soon I will do the same to Thomas One's universe. Over my body, Thomas is mine and mine alone. Timothy, but you are old 